Okay, let's take a look at, I'm making sure that my duplicate with behaviors is on and I'm going to add, let's add a box. Okay, so I've got this box here, that's good. Uh, let's tap on there. Let's just change it a little bit. Maybe I'm gonna make it sort of that and, or I can change it to something else or glossy paint and then I can have some colors. Let's just, let's just choose a color in here. How about that? Okay, so I've got a color, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do some um, physics. Now this is really cool. So the first thing I wanna do is I, I want to scroll down to the bottom and it says physics, participates in physics. I'm gonna turn that on, okay? Now motion type is fixed. That means that it's not going to move. It's like a wall. I'm gonna switch that to dynamic. And let's show you what that means. So I'm, let's just start by putting this up in the air. It's off the ground, okay? And let's press play. It falls, right? That's what it's gonna do. And if I rotate it a bit and I press play, it will fall as it would normally fall. It might bounce a bit, whatever it's gonna do. So let's put this back down to earth. And again, I've got the I've got the um, magnet on, so it's gonna sort of land on the ground. I'm gonna tap this, and I'm gonna duplicate it, and it's putting it beside it here. Duplicate, okay, duplicate. So I've got a few here. Uh, duplicate, nicely. it's nicely putting them right beside them for me. I like to use these as opposed to like a free moving it. You can move it freely. Um, duplicate, it puts it over there. See, so if I move it freely, it's hard to sort of where it is. I, I'm not a big fan of that. Sometimes, sometimes it's good, but see how now I'm just gonna move this up and down and it's, it's in the right space. See if I can duplicate this. I'm just gonna make a wall of boxes here. There we go, one more time, duplicate, there it is. So now I've got this wall of boxes. Now let's do one more thing. Let's add a ball and I'm gonna move this, oops, undo. I'm gonna move this ball if I can grab that ball, sometimes you need to pinch in to grab the thing that you're looking to grab. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna move this ball uh, sort of over here. Let's put it down on the ground. Let's see if I can see it a bit better. There we go. There, I can feel it's on the ground. I don't want it that big. I just actually wanna move it over this way. Okay, so now, I want this ball also, let's go to the settings here. I also want it to participate in physics. I also want it to be dynamic so it will move. Um, let's just change it. Let's make it a, a car paint sort of like that. There we go. So now what I can do, uh, maybe I'll move it back just a bit. Now let's create a behavior. Um, so I've got these behaviors from when I was doing this last time. So one of the things that you can do is you can just delete these behaviors. These were from when I created something else on here. So I'm just gonna hold down and then that menu comes up and press delete. So now I don't have any behaviors. So let's go plus, and again, I'm a, I'm a fan of sort of the custom. You can choose what you want, but I'm just gonna have it tap. So when I tap, what's the object? Choose, okay, it's that ball, you can see. What do I want to happen? Well, I want it to, where is it? Add force, oh, look at this. So now, I'm going to say which way I want it to go. I want it to go that way. Uh, make sure I've chosen, yeah, I've chosen that object. The velocity says it's 18 kilometers an hour. And so, if I press play in here, it's just gonna do the ball. So it's just gonna go, the ball will go through there. But if I press play here, and I press tap the ball, you see how it ran into those boxes. Now. That's interesting, this ball, this material here, what is it made out of? Uh, material is concrete, wow, okay. I wonder if it was rubber, if it would change. Let's try that. Ah, it's still pretty similar, maybe it's coming fast enough. What are these made out of? I didn't change them before, so they're probably the default of concrete. But what you can do, what I could do here is let's tap on here and let's go to those behaviors. And let's make that velocity even more. Wow, 35 kilometers an hour. 
And let's press play. So when I tap it, do they fly differently? Do they go further, right? If I go even faster, let's press play. Whoa, there's a glitch in the matrix there. Let's turn it down a bit. Press play. Yeah, it's like it's like it's blowing through those even. So that didn't work too well. But you can see what you can do with these and have a play with making sure something is participating in physics and where um, the maybe you can knock some boxes down or do something like that. Have some fun. Try it out and see what you can do.